Hello everybody and welcome to Sin City Living. My name is Jason. I'll be bringing you today's episode. Now I've been trying to get away from doing the, uh, the intros but I haven't had a whole lot of success with that so I'm going to have to go back into doing that again but I'm going to try and keep this as short as I possibly can. I apologize for, uh, for how infrequently we've been posting videos the last few weeks. been working a whole bunch of extra shifts and then I went in and had, had uh, eye surgery so I've been recovering from that and still am. But hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we're going to get back to our usual routine of having a, a decent number of videos coming out for you guys, especially all those exclusive videos for our patrons. We're really trying to focus on, on giving you guys some awesome content. So for anybody that is interested in that, just go ahead and check the description of the video down below. And I've had, had quite a few questions, uh, even though we've had this system in place for a little while, quite a few questions on how you can... Uh, how how our fans can tip us or show appreciation to us and you can buy us a cup of coffee. We, uh, we set up uh, a, um, a quote unquote tip jar for that. Uh, again, just check the description of the video down below if you're curious about that. Um, otherwise, you know, hope you guys are enjoying things. Please email us with anything strategies you would like to see, questions you may have, videos you would like to see, if you would like to see us do the true crime stuff again, or or just uh, the mob stories on Vegas, or the history of Vegas, or restaurants, um, anything you might like to see see uh, see from us, please shoot me an email, uh, sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. We'd love shooting this stuff for you guys. Otherwise, we're going to jump right into today's video. So for today's video, I'm going to kind of do a refresher on, uh, on some things we've covered in some of our other videos, and that is press moves. Press moves. Some of the most important things for dealers, especially new dealers. New dealers and dealers working at Tier 1, Tier 2 casinos, places where you're still dealing at $10, $15, even $25 minimum bet tables, the press moves are very important. Once you get up beyond that, where you're routinely dealing with, with $1,000 thousand checks and such, press moves become very, very different, and they almost become location-specific because just the, the general play style, oddly enough, becomes very specific to individual casinos. You'll see, the same, you'll see very similar action. Um, you know, a phenomenal dealer at one property that routinely gets people with million-dollar line of credit goes to another property that routinely gets people with a million dollar line of credit and they're going to be tiny bit slower just because the action is just slightly different. It's kind of weird. And then you, you pick it up again and you pick it up and you move. Just like you take somebody that spent 10 years dealing with, uh, um, you know, on, on private tables and, and salon tables and dealing with people with, with multi-million dollar lines of credit and, and the smallest table they ever deal on is a $100 minimum bet table. And you send them somewhere with a $10 minimum bet and have them deal. They're, prob they're right at first going to, going to be a tiny bit slower than the dealers that have been in this $10 minimum bet place for the last five years, uh, just because they have to refresh their brain on that, that action. It's just not what they've seen for a little while. Now, give them about an hour, and they're probably going to smoke the rest of the dealers because they have a little bit more experience at it. But the press moves. Press moves for dealers that have been dealing for, I would say, five years or less, even three years or less. Um, Press moves are extremely important, especially those new dealers. I see a lot of dealers that finish up their dealing school within the last couple of years, went to a couple different places, then try and get into a tier two casino, try and get on the crafts because that's what they want to deal, even though they're mostly in blackjack, come over and they struggle mightily. And one of the things I notice is they struggle, one of the areas they struggle is their press moves because they never practiced them. After they left their dealing school, they never practiced them, they forgot them. Now they struggle very, very heavily. So I'm going to very quickly do a very quick refresher on dual presses. Because individual presses are pretty easy. If someone just says, press my bet on a six or eight, you give them the cap and you stack everything else up. That is so incredibly simple. If they are pressing it one unit at a time, that gets a little bit different. but should still be fairly basic. But let me, in fact, let me, let me go over, say, the eight, and we'll go one unit at a time from $12 up, okay? So it's gonna pay $14. Now we're gonna do what we call take one, leave one. We're gonna take one chip, and we're gonna leave one chip, okay? And that's what we hand off to the player. We hand it off behind the pass line, and our other hand will stack everything up. Now remember, a two-handed dealer is always better than a one-handed dealer, so you use both hands. So at full speed, I would bring it out, take one, leave one, and go. Now I have my new cap. So 
18 pays you 21. Well, if they want to press it up one unit, you just take the cap and add it to the payout, and you hand them off the rest. So, at full speed, I would bring it out, take the cap, hand it off. And you notice that I'm handing off the money to the player with my outside hand while I'm stacking up the bet with my inside hand. Now, from 24 up to 30, it's pretty simple because I'm going to cut out $30 for two and then hand it off. Now, the rest of the presses from here are pretty self-explanatory. This is the other area where dealers struggle, new dealers. You need to really understand what your current bet is, what the payout is, and what you were going to. That sounds like it should be incred incredibly simple. And yet, we see so many dealers, so many dealers that struggle that they can't seem to do it. If 30 pays 35, if somebody says, I want to press it up one unit, I know I need to cut that out with white, but then all I have to do is stack six bucks on top of it and I'm done. 36 pays 42. Someone says they want to press it up one unit, well, I already know that that one unit goes up to 42, so why am I sitting there playing around when I can just stack up the bet and give them their old bet? 42 pays 49. So if they say they want to press it up one unit, well, if I am paying attention, if I understand my game and know my game, I know one unit from 42 goes up to 48. Well, if they're pressing up to 48 and I just paid 49, that should be the most obvious thing in the world. I cut it out, take a dollar off of it, give them that dollar plus their original bet, and all the rest gets stacked up. 48 pays 56. If they say press up one unit, they're going to 54. I've got three whites right here. Now they've got 54. 54 pays 63. If they say press me up one unit, well, they're going to 60. Very, very simple. Very simple. And a, a good dealer, and I don't mean an experienced dealer. An experienced dealer should know all this stuff. A good dealer should be able to handle that. A good dealer, even if they've only been out of their dealing school for, say, a month, should be able to do that. If they cannot, they need to do some serious practice at home to make sure that they understand the bets. A lot of the problems that I see come from not understanding the bets. Now, the dual presses, $12, if they want to press them both up to 18, well, same thing. We're going to take one. We're going to leave one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm actually going slightly out of order. First, we're going to give them their cap, the cap from the inside bet. Then, we're going to take one. We're going to leave one check move it over and stack everything else up. So let's look at this at full speed. It's 12 pays 14. Press 6 and 8 up one unit. I gave them the inside cap. My other hand took one, left one, moved it over, stacked everything else up. There we go. Okay, 18 pays 21. Now, the thing about this one is that we need a little bit more white. So we pay that 21 this way, okay? Now with my outside hand, because that's what I always hand off with, I'm going to take one, put the inside bet, and I'm going to take one red, the whole cap and one red. Okay. With my other hand, I'm going to take one, I'm going to leave one, and I'm going to stack them up. So let's take a look at that at full speed. So, 18 pays 21. That was very poor full speed. My hands are not working the best. We go from 18 up to 24. Now, for the next press, there's a couple different ways to do this. The simplest way is a major overpay. Cup, and again, you run into a couple of different ways that, that you could do it. Now, the most basic way is to pay 50 for 22. Okay? I pay out $50 because it pays $28. So I pay out $50. Each one of these bets is 24 bucks. So for 22 and then just size in, and there we go. The downside of that is you're giving them a whole ton of white. So the other thing you can do is you can pay it 55 for 27. 
that way you're not giving them quite so much white. Now, here are some common presses that seem to mess people up. Player has any type of bet on the six or eight that has dollars on top. Okay, it could be anything. It could be 54, could be 18, 24 like I've got here. It could be 77 or 78. Um, anything that still has the white. And they throw a green and say, I want to press my eight or my six, doesn't really matter. Okay, the easiest thing, put it underneath, give them a dollar, you're all set. You press it, 24 bucks. It takes no time, quick, simple, it's still proper, you're done. Very, 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 very easy. That is one of the simplest ones that we come across. Another one that absolutely kills us. $12.06, Collect up all this. This one just absolutely drives me nuts. $12.06, $12.08 player says, I want to press them both. I absolutely cannot stand seeing this. That just absolutely boggles my mind when I see this because that is so incredibly slow. Player says, I want to press both my six and my eight. Okay, cool. Done. Just combine the two and the other and, and what they just gave you is the new bed. It's so much simpler, so much smoother, so much faster, so much more efficient. So this is just a couple of the basic things. If, if you guys like this kind of stuff, we'll add, I'll, I'd be happy to shoot another one with even more of the press moves, more of the dual press moves. This is just some of the basic stuff to, to help any of the dealers out there. Uh, I hope you guys find this interesting, illuminating, enlightening, or at least just plain fun. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye now. Thank you everybody for watching today's video and as promised a little bit more detail on things that we are working on. So again we want to, uh, we want to continue trying to expand the channel. We're really hoping to be, add, to be able to add roulette as soon as possible and then some video kino, video slots, stuff along those lines. Um, unfortunately it ate up almost all of our cash. Um, paying off all of our bills during the month of January, January while we were down. And uh, now that the holidays have ended, um, YouTube's uh, payouts have dropped significantly. So uh, we're kind of treading water here uh, uh, as far as all that goes. Do have a lot of things we want to add, though. Not just those, those things, those, those additional games, and hopefully some carnival games and such, such like that, but the live streams. The biggest problem right now with the live streams is with... Three jobs combined between the two of us, four if I include the, the 20 to 30 hours a week I'm putting into the YouTube channel. Um, it's very, very difficult for me to have a day and time that I can commit to doing the live stream every single week because we also have our, our very young child to, to take care of. But I'm trying to figure that out. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to end up being on, on Monday nights or Tuesday afternoons or possibly both. I intend to do at least one live stream exclusively for our patrons and then another one on the YouTube channel. So possibly both both days. Um, we also have a few other things that, that we really want to attempt to move forward on. I'm just running into to either time or skill set issues. I do want to eventually have a, a website going for us. Um, I did used to program websites a long, over a decade ago. A lot of things have changed and I just don't have that time. Um, and uh, not a whole lot of knowledge on the current state of, of um, building websites, hosting site, you know, what, what sites can host and, and uh, uh, how to build up, you know, the e-commerce stuff. So if anybody has any skill sets along those lines and would like to answer some questions uh, or just help us out, shoot us an email, sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. Um, also, I really hope to be able to start adding some, some uh, fairly ex some exclusive stuff from Sin City Living, uh, logoed shirts, hats. I'm looking to get uh, custom dice made, even custom custom layouts made, although those would be pretty expensive. Um, 
but I know zero about e-commerce and drop shipping and uh, anything along those lines. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, please email me. Uh, I would I would love to ask you some questions and uh, see if uh, see if you can answer answer a few to help me figure out how to get that going. Um, same thing with uh, with designing our logos. You know, I, I I had the logo had some logos designed, very very small logos, unfortunately, not big enough to blow up to put on T-shirts and stuff like that. And again, I know next to nothing. Not next to I know nothing about um, logo design, graphic design, any kind of websites that could that could do it. Um, I I literally know nothing. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, also please email me, and you're willing to ask, answer some questions. Please. Email me and uh, and let me know. I uh, uh, I'll admit I don't even know where to start as far as asking some questions, but I'm sure I'll, I'll ask a few and that'll trigger a few more, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, there's that, and and uh, of course we do hope to continue to improve our AV setup. But I am an AV moron, so also right there, if you have any skill sets or knowledge in that area please email me and, and are willing to answer some questions, please email me and, uh, and let me know. We would love the help. Uh, otherwise, again, thank you everybody for watching and we're very excited to continue bringing you our videos. Bye now.